Well guys, I was thinking of going outside to do a little update uh, but I'm still trying to decide if I'm quite brave enough. The whole of the UK has had this snowstorm and uh, they're calling it the, the, the beast from the east <clears throat> and of course us in Scotland we are on red alert warning. I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs <laughs> and um, apparently we've not been on red alert warning ever before. I hope you can see this um, and there's not too much reflections on the glass. But, you know it really is spectacular, really beautiful. And yesterday at one point it was seven inches deep. I guess it'll be even deeper today because there's been more snow all yesterday and during the night. Um, so really all the schools are cancelled today as they were yesterday. Trains are cancelled, everything like that. And we have people literally out on sledges taking their children about with sledges. I saw a guy walking his dog and his dog was, you know, more than knee deep. Um, it was still having fun, of course. <laughs> so I really want to do this little update. Um, I planned going outside, but yeah, it's, it's kind of cold. <laughs> Scotland's cold enough, as you probably know. And usually our cats do enjoy sitting at the window, looking out, sunbathing. But as you can see, this one has finally brought his little head out from under the blanket. Um, he was quite happy underneath there. <laughs> and yes, we do have icicles too. Look guys, even the little bird house has tons of snow on it. <laughs> Obviously I can't um, really describe the, the depth of the snow because you've got no reference here to compare it against, but the pots out the back garden are like halfway up covered in snow, three quarters of them covered. That little, what is looking like a lilac igloo, that's a, a cat basket that I keep out in the garden all the time in case the cats are out and it's drafty or wet. Just look at the amount of snow on top of that. And I guess you really get no scale of, of, of seeing this properly, but the snow is, is literally piling up against the doors <laughs> and the windows. Um, you can see, I think you might be able to see how high it is up the, the windows there. This is what I did yesterday. Maybe I can actually still do this and film at the same time. I opened the door Oh, it hasn't done it today. Okay, it's more frozen, obviously. <laughs> Yesterday I did, I did this, I opened the door and this little wall of snow tumbled in. It was so funny, it was slow motion. And one of my cats was here and I don't think she saw snow, well at least not this amount of snow before. She's still a young cat. She saw this snow tumbling in, into the, the conservatory and um, she was really quite appalled and intrigued all at the same time. Now I would love to just go out there and jump in that, wouldn't you? Look, there's, there's not a, not even a little birdie footprint. So what do you think? Should I do my little update or not? It is beautiful. Hi guys, it's the 1st of March and the garden is covered in snow. <laughs> the cat is meowing because she wants to come out but she's meowing at the snow. That's so funny. She's thinking about coming out. Um, anyway, I've got one eye on her and one eye on you. Um, 1st of March, so a lovely spring day as you can see here in Scotland. And um, yeah, I just wanted to make a couple of announcements. As some of you might know, 
YouTube has been deleting some of my videos and I'm not saying this to create a drama, it's just a fact um, even though apparently they're not meant to do that, it has been happening um, because I certainly haven't deleted them <laughs> and um, it's quite frankly getting a bit annoying so um, I've been thinking, asking people and some people have been saying that they're now using Steemit so possibly I shall go over onto Steemit apparently they don't have censorship and they're not so apt to delete your work so they say well we'll see what happens but I'm thinking about that anyway looking into that um, the other announcement is that my show the the supernatural with Laura Maxwell is coming back for another season on Eternal Radio and that's about to start very shortly and really this time we have a guest that I'm very excited about and I believe that she will probably be doing quite a few shows with us not just one or two and um, yeah I'll keep that a surprise I won't tell you too much about that yet but I am really really looking forward to it um, what else was I going to say yeah it, yesterday on Facebook I posted um, a couple of photographs of Scotland at the moment in the snow and one of my friends Dana Emmanuel she is a Facebook friend and she's also in the ministry and she was in Florida yesterday with her grandchildren it was 80 degrees and she sent me beautiful photographs of her and her grandchildren at the zoo in the sunshine and lovely photographs of a parrot and a wild cat out there enjoying the, the, the sunshine in Florida so I thought that was really quite funny and um, I jokingly said to her well I think I just saw a snow leopard going by our window on skis you know that's about all we could get here um, so the snow is beautiful it's really it's really soft and fluffy and it's it's gorgeous you can't really make snowballs with it because it's not it's not icy enough and it's not wet enough but it definitely is beautiful to look at so uh, yeah and you guys who are in, in Scotland particularly um, ha I've really got to listen to the weather warnings you know they've been saying for days that it's, it's red alert which we've never had a red alert apparently from the Met Office and yet some guys are still going out in their cars and, and getting you know trapped in the snow and it's uh, Really, guys, we've got to listen to what the news reports are saying. Um, basically, we are really snowed in here until the next couple of days, until it thaws a bit, so please be wise. I, I know that I've got friends over in Cumbernauld, Kirkintilloch, Milton of Campsie, which is, of course, near the Campsie Hills, and they've got it particularly bad. Um, we used to live over there, but I'm quite glad we don't live over there now. So I'm just ad-libbing here, um, basically just having a wee chat with you. And the cat has it back in, no wonder. So Eternal Radio coming up really soon, myself, with a very interesting guest um, for a new season of The Supernatural with Laura Maxwell. Have a little look at my YouTube, share some of the, the, the videos and radio shows there if you want to. Um, I've got a feeling that I won't be on it quite as much. I suppose that a lot of people are saying that just now, certainly in the last couple of years there's been a lot of complaints about YouTube and hey you know we enjoyed it while it lasted. Maybe I'll stay with it, maybe I won't but if I do join Steemit, which I am considering, please check us out there. Um, out the door in one <laughs> she's thinking about it it's really funny so thanks guys for listening to me just totally rambling on and keep warm and god bless thank you for watching